Hey everyone, my name is Alex and I am Innovation Specialist here at Live Tiles. We are extremely excited to be presenting our brand new chatbot to you, which is the Live Tiles Meeting Assistant. Now this is the world premiere of this chatbot. We have not shown this anywhere else, and what better place to show it than the AI for Good Summit. So really excited to be here and sharing this with you. We've always been a company that's been innovating. Back in 2012, when Office 365 was released, we were the first to create a user experience layer on top of this platform. This was revolutionary because customers could drag and drop their way to employee portals and intranets. This had never been done at the time. This gave us some great customers like Pepsi, Nike, Disney, and some really great names uh, within the enterprise space. But since then, we haven't stopped innovating. So back in 2017, we released a chatbot platform that uses Microsoft's Azure Bot framework along with their cognitive services. So the Live Tiles Meeting Assistant is our newest release in the AI space. So we actually had a report run with our company and we've booked over 110,000 meetings since we started. Now, we're a company of 200 people, growing very quickly, but we haven't been that size forever. And still, we find ourselves booking a lot of meetings, especially internally, as we're quite a global company. Right, we have offices all over the world, so naturally, a lot of internal meetings are going to take place. I'll show you what I mean. So I work in the northwest of Ireland in a town called Sligo. Now, most of my work as an innovation specialist supports people all over the world, but generally, it's within the UK and Ireland. So I work a lot with my colleague, Ross. Now this isn't ideal, as we're not in the same office. He's in Dublin and I'm in Sligo, about a three hour difference for a drive. But that said, we are in the same time zone. So it does make collaboration relatively easy. We begin and end work at the same time every day. Now, things get a bit trickier when we want to talk with the New York office. Now New York is five hours behind Ireland. So we have about three hours every day of overlapping working time. So generally when we talk with New York, we try to talk during the three hours when we're both working. Now obviously there are going to be times when we have to talk with New York um, a bit later than we'd like, or they get up a bit early to chat with us, but generally we're chatting within that three hour window, which is the end of our afternoon and the beginning of their morning. Now you can imagine that our global company calls are a bit tricky, as we have offices on both coasts of the United States, offices in Europe across two different time zones, and several offices in Australia. So this can be quite tricky within our company. So what does this actually look like within our company? Well, our company doesn't look like this. It's not that we're all in the same office or certainly not even the same country. We're a spread out organization. Our meetings look a lot more like this across many different continents, across many different time zones. And so this is quite tricky. When you go to book one of these meetings, what's gonna happen is somebody is going to lose out. Now what this means is someone is going to have to take this meeting well outside of their working hours. So what happens now? Well, if we wanted to book this meeting right now, here's what it would look like. We'd gather the basic information, and this would include everything from the meeting topic, the, um, you know, the agenda, the rough time that we want it to take place, how long we want it to be. After we do that, we're going to add a few participants. So we figure out who's going to the meeting, add them to the invite. We then have to do the hard work, which is comparing the schedules. Now, unfortunately, this is very tricky because as you're comparing the schedules for everyone that you just saw, you're trying to convert all the different time zones in your head. So you may find a time that works for four to five people, and for that fifth person, it's at 3 a.m., and they're not going to be able to take that. So hopefully you find a slot that works for you, and you send out that meeting invite. Now, here comes the fun part. You may have to revise that. You may go through all that work, and you still have to send out another invite, and you're back to step three of comparing schedules. And when I asked that question initially, about who has um, had to spend days or weeks booking a meeting, really, you're stuck in this loop. Anyone who said yes to that has been stuck in this loop of comparing schedules, sending out the invite, and then revising if needed, right? So, we want to introduce new technology here. We want to change the way that business is done. What we're proposing is a meeting assistant that actually uses a neural network and predictive analytics in the background, and then from there, scans your calendars, factors in schedule, availability, and then from there, we book what we call the perfect meeting. Now, when we go back and look at the way we used to book meetings, it looks a little bit obsolete, a little bit arcane, especially when you consider the fact that we actually have 
an autonomous car over there. That car can drive itself. We're still booking meetings like we did 20 years ago. Is that really the best system that we have? What we're proposing is a new model. Leverage the meeting assistant to book your meetings, and the meeting is booked. It really is that simple. So I think it's one thing to show, for us to talk about exactly how this meeting assistant works, it's another to show it. So here is my Outlook calendar for Friday morning, or sorry, Friday afternoon, and as you can see, I have an open afternoon. Now, the great thing about the meeting assistant is it can actually be used by multiple people at the same time. So within your organization, you are able to book meetings while someone else is booking a meeting, and from there you can have multiple instances running at the same time. So I just think that that's kind of worth pointing out, particularly as we um, go through the demo. But for right now, we only need one. And here, we'll see that we want to book a meeting. All we have to do is type in the first names of our participants. So the two names that I typed in are Agnes and Dan. Now I specifically chose these names because we only have one Agnes within our company, but we have several Dans. So in this case, the meeting assistant realizes this and asks which Dan I'd like to book the meeting with. So I click on the correct Dan. From there, it knows the participants. Now we're just gonna collect the basic information, everything from time to the date of the meeting. So we're gonna go for a Friday afternoon meeting and then just the last thing, which is going to be the title. So we have this title of the meeting, and we'll just call it review. And just like that, the bot is gonna go behind the scenes, leverage the neural network, work its magic, and from there, we can create a unique Teams meeting and just as if we were to book this meeting through Outlook, we're gonna have that unique meeting identifier, that unique room that we're able to join virtually. So now the bot comes back with the best times for us to meet, looks at everyone's calendar, analyzes their previous behavior, their availability, recommends three times. We can also check more if those don't work. But in this case, three o'clock is going to work just fine. So we can actually send that meeting request. And all of that information is captured by the bot. Now this is a really, really interesting experience because if we go back, without having to go into Outlook, we've actually just booked a meeting for three o'clock that is completely unique. Now what you may not know is we actually just booked this meeting across three different time zones. So it's three o'clock for me in Geneva, where we are right now. It is one hour earlier in London, and it is five hours earlier in New York. So we have actually just booked a meeting across three different time zones using a neural network that works for everyone. Consider something like a team meeting that's global. It may seem pretty easy at first, but when you start to factor in complexities, like Jim picking up his kids on Tuesdays, or Ryan being six hours ahead in a different time zone, as complexities add up and work gets complicated. This is very, very difficult to manage. No one's ever gonna understand all these little complexities of our life, all these things that aren't written in our calendars. The bot's going to understand when we take, tend to take meetings and when we don't. What we're proposing, let the meeting assistant help you. Put the information in, behind the scenes, we're leveraging that great AI technology, and out comes the perfect meeting. When we look back at the new way we're proposing booking meetings, we are absolutely revolutionizing this space. We are changing the way business is done when it comes to booking meetings. So what do you do with the rest of this time? Run your company, innovate, do whatever it is you love. We want you to be passionate about what you do, I don't think that anyone here is passionate about booking meetings. Live Tiles believes the world is a better place and people are free to do their best work. We don't think your best work is booking meetings. So we want to free you from this task. We're not necessarily trying to make you more productive. We're trying to save you the stress, the effort, the time that's needed to book a meeting, right? Everyone here is very, very highly trained. People here are very specialized. Do something else that isn't booking a meeting. Now, as far as the roadmap goes, we are factoring in external meetings, the ability to be able to um, include external participants in meetings. This said, we are a GDPR-driven company. This is really our yardstick as far as development, so we want to be sensitive of data. We want to be mindful of that. Um, along with that, the bot integrating, deploying to Microsoft Teams to be able to use through that platform, as well as this bot fitting into the intelligent meeting suite. Now, this is, includes other technologies, such as the ability to transcribe meetings, along with finding the right expert within your particular organization to attend a particular discussion. So we do see this fitting into a larger suite of technology. So I want to thank everyone for the time. Um, 
my contact information is up there and our marketing lead Paul is uh, right over here to the side so feel free to come by the booth and come chat with us uh, we're very friendly but we're really really happy about this technology we love to talk about this we're happy to finally get this out there some really great work has been done within this space we want to transform the way you book meetings thank you everyone thank you.